So back to depression, which is what I want to talk about today. Don't get depressed by me talking about depression. If hearing somebody else be depressed makes you depressed, then just exit out of this. Sis. We don't need any more depression, okay? We don't need any more of the devil trying to take root in anyone's life. Some might say that I am just a bad girl, but if you treat me right, I will be the best girl in this whole world. No, I'm not In five, four, three, two, one. Watch me. Level up. 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 Hey y'all, this is Brittany Chanel back with another video. I have been feeling really down and depressed lately. I have things going on in my personal life and just not feeling like doing anything. But I decided today I'm gonna get up and about and do something. So we're about to do all of this and what we're about to do so that I can go to Sephora. Yes, Sephora. So bear with me. Um, we're going to start off with the No Problem Primer by Touch and Soul. Mm, I feel like that's good enough. Y'all can see it. Okay, so that's what we're going to start off with. I don't know. Life has just been uh, up too much. Life has just really been cooking my butt lately. I do have three small kids. A two-year-old, a one-year-old, and a four-year-old who I love them all dearly, but it's a lot. And then dealing with the husband, like just dealing with the uh, you know a significant other on a daily basis, I feel like makes it that much more draining. Um, so I'm just drained. Just look at me. So I'm about to try to pump some life back into myself. I, Lord, I can't talk. I'm just so depressed, y'all, and. Depression is not like a faux pas. We all deal with it at times. We all have our levels. You know, things that take us under, things that take us over. We all have our things. But man, mm. don't be ashamed, y'all. Sometimes it's hard to dig up out of this this cloud that life sometimes puts us under. And it's, it's nothing to be ashamed about. It's completely normal. My Beauty Bakery Insta Bake Foundation. I'm going to give it like about... She likes full coverage, but I am doing all this to go to Sephora, so I'm 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 gonna give it two. We're gonna start with two and see how it goes. I don't want my mirror in there, so I might look to the side a little bit like this, but y'all still gonna see me. But yeah, I don't want. I just like to dot like this. Don't judge me. I just put way too much on my forehead, and I may not have even needed two dots. Now that I'm thinking about it, because I am gonna contour. But, yeah. So back to depression, which is what I want to talk about today. Don't get depressed by me talking about depression. If hearing somebody else be depressed makes you depressed, then just exit out of this. Sis. We don't need any more depression, okay? We don't need any more of the devil trying to take root in anyone's life. So that's not what we want. That's not what we need. That's what we not what we're going for. But I do, like, if I'm going to get on here and get to know you guys, and you're going to get to know me, I feel like it's necessary to keep it real. So I can get on here smiling and keep king when in real life I've been crying all day. That's just not real. So in order to be as transparent as I can, I should have sprayed first. Yeah, I like to spray my stuff before I make it. What is this? It's Morphe. Ugh, it got all in my mouth. It's Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. Spray, spray Fixator Illuminator. Whoa, that has a serious spray to it. I pulled it out of my stuff because it's, just, it's something that, oh my God, it's something that I have in there that I've never used before. And I'm like, Brittany, why do you have all this stuff you never tried? You don't use it. So I'm just trying it. But in real life, I would not recommend that, sis, because like everything is dirty. Look at me. Instead of talking to y'all, I need to be cleaning up my tools and stuff. Oh, y'all saw the front? Don't look at the front. It's an illusion. It's not really that dirty in real life. It's really not. It's really not. But yeah, I can't even see myself in this, y'all. <laughs> Why? Okay, I'm going to have to use my big mirror. Don't judge me, y'all. I'm going to look this way. But yeah, I like to blend my foundation in circular motion. And yeah, but yeah, back to the topic at hand, depression. When I first had my first daughter, Lola, who she's four, she'll be five this month at the end of this month. 
I had depression so bad. Like, I swear, I did not leave the house for like two weeks. It was so real to me. It was just like everything about me changed. My body changed. I had different priorities, different focuses. And I had to have an emergency C-section, which already put me in like, oh, I didn't do it the right way. It wasn't how I planned. I had this whole birth plan laid out. So that was when I was 20, 26. I was 26 when I had Lola. That was my first segue into depression. And then since then, just being like I feel like a real adult, I have really had to navigate like just life. Like just going from like being in college, not having a care in the world, to then being married, and then having a kid. And it's just like a lot. Like your whole life changes. I kid you not. Everything changes about it. And so... It was a struggle. That was the first struggle. I'm gonna. I have these little spots right here because I had a rash on my face, and the medicine that they gave me it caused discoloration on where I had to apply it. So I'm gonna just go in a little bit more around my mouth area here, just so I can um, hide that a little bit. y'all know before y'all come for me in the comments yes i know my eyebrows look like that's looking a whole pool even though i'm not even going for that instagram eyebrow look that's why ugh, look at this atrocity So that was the first major thing that happened to me in my life with depression. I had my daughter and postpartum depression is real. Don't ever think it's not. Don't ever think someone who's telling you about it is joking or being extra and not being real because it's so real. So that happens. And then I, I wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. So my husband, once I had my, I quit my job when I was like seven months pregnant. And my husband was supposed to be like, you know, taking care of us, providing, being the breadwinner. And boom, Lola is four months Oh, He gets laid off. This is like right around Christmas time. He gets laid off. And I mean, we were struggling tough. There was no, he couldn't find any work. Um, I, at them, that point, decided to go back to work. So I get a job. I'm applying for jobs everywhere, everywhere. I get a job with the state. Great job. I go back to work. But then, oh, here comes another bout of depression. It's like nothing, nothing could stop it. It just was what it was. Like, you're going to be depressed. You're going to be this. You're going to be that. Just life keeps on happening. And ever since then, life has <laughs> kept on happening. It's kept on happening. And it's just one thing after another. And I know... That that's really seriously just part of being an adult and a grown up. And just when you were a kid, like you did not think about the kids have so much freedom, man. I know the old folks to tell you, you know, to enjoy while you're young and don't try to rush growing up because it's real. And that's what I be telling my baby now. She's like, oh, I can't wait to be 10. Oh, I can't wait to be this. Oh, I can't wait to be a big kid. And I'm like, girl, yes, you can. You can wait as long as you can. As long as God has called you to be a child, be a child, okay? Because your mom is struggling. Of course, I don't say that, but I do, like, make it clear, like, hey, we ain't in no rush here, sis, for you to grow up at all. We want you to... We want you to enjoy the experience as wholly and completely and fully as you can. Right yeah. And so I had to go back to work much earlier than I anticipated. Right after that, immediately, my husband and I, we knew we wanted more kids. So we got pregnant right away, right after Lola. And he was on location in Alaska. He didn't end up getting a job, but it was in Alaska. We live in Louisiana. He ends up getting a job in Alaska. Okay, fine. I'm a big girl. I'm trying to, like, still be, you know, 
supportive. I'm still working at this point because after that, after that Christmas, I had decided I was never, ever, 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 do you hear me, not working again because I never, I just never want to go through something like that. It was just like not fun at all. Um, so I'm still working even though he's got another job. And my husband, he makes a good amount of money. But I had decided just after that that it, it was just not something that I could do. I could not be a stay-at-home mom because it just wasn't something that I could depend on. You know, you can butter your bread on both sides. So that's just my thought process going forth. We're going to just butter this bread on both sides. And if you bring in extra and we have extra, then that's cool. So that's where we're at with that. But no, he was working a job in Alaska. I was pregnant. Boom, I had a miscarriage. So, then it's another depression. Now I'm depressed, like, seriously depressed. A year later, we get pregnant again. Boom, I have a miscarriage. So now I'm starting to think, okay, well, what's going on? Why am I keep miscarrying? Even though it's perfectly normal. It happens, perfectly normal. And it's, again, just a part of life. All these things that are just a part of life that you don't even realize, you don't even think about until they come crashing in. Because I'm thinking, oh, something is wrong with me. Oh, I can't keep, you know, something's wrong with me. You know, like, I am the problem. Because it's keep happening. And we never got tested to see who was the problem, if he was the problem, not the problem. We said we were just going to wait on it and let get God tell us the timing and when it was ready and when we should do it and how we should go about it. So we just kept on trying. And then eventually I did end up getting pregnant again. And I have my son, AJ. Well, no. Yeah, I had two miscarriages between Lola and AJ. I had two. And they were both pretty traumatizing for real. And I know that it's normal, but I'm not going to sit here and say I wasn't traumatized. So just for the sake of transparency, uh, I'm sitting here editing this video. Shout out to Lola who painted my nails. She's four and I think she did a great job. And I just realized that I wasn't being completely transparent. I was kind of like not really wanting to say it out loud. But if I'm talking about this and I need to say... Um, after we had the two miscarriages and we got pregnant with Lola, not with Lola, after we had the two miscarriages and we got pregnant with AJ, he was a twin. And then we lost one of them as well. So that was an extra stress. I didn't, I didn't want the video to be too stressful, but if I'm talking about the subject and fertility and things like that and depression, I have to be transparent and say we did end up losing another child as well, like fully formed, you know, out of my body. And, um, he didn't make it. They were twins. And it's okay, though. Life is hard. And we get past it. I just wanted to be transparent. I'm going to go in with some Laura Mercier to set my under eyes. And my eyelids. I like to set my eyelids as well. But, yeah. So, all that happened to say, I've been married now six years. And marriage, being married, put a whole, whole other level of stress on your life. Not only do I have three kids, I have a whole husband who sometimes acts like a kid, in my humble opinion. opinion. Don't tell him I said it. Okay, so now we're going to go in with some bronzer. This Ace Butte, Ace Butte, what is it called? Bronze in Paradise is like my favorite bronzer. I tend to go in with the, uh, this shade right here. Just lightly, not too much, but just enough. Just enough. Oh, that was a lot. And I did say lightly, sis. I did say lightly. We're just going to make her look sun-kissed a little bit. And don't think, I'm going to keep saying this on this channel, don't think that because you B-L-A-C-K, you don't need to bronze, sis. Don't think it. Don't play yourself. Don't play yourself. Now, you don't need to put on way too much bronzer as I just did. Okay. But she likes to be tan. But she's... Okay, now we're going to get into eyes. I don't know why I do my bronzer first, but I do. And then I'm going to come back and put do blush and everything else. I just like to see most of the look, like how my face is going to look before I start applying my eyeshadows. I don't want it to like me to be doing it and then it just don't dry well or go or anything like that. So that's why I do that. How am I looking? Like 10 different colors, but that's okay. We're going to put some blush right here and we're going to look magnificent because I do like a bright under eye. So if you once you put the bronzer helps like hide the lines of demarcation, but the blush says she's going to be cute in the end. 
I'm gonna go in with the Ofra Cosmetics Glitch Palette. <sighs> Isn't she stunning? Come on. For black brands, black beauty brands, come on. So these colors are like a little more, shout out for the mirror. <sighs> yes, do me right. These colors are a little bit more pastel. You can change the colors out. They are like removable little pans, magnetic pans. So if you want, you can get some of the other colors and put them in there, replace them as they get worn and everything else. And now I'm using my, M, my Morphe M456 brush. And I think I'm going to go in with, I hate that these colors are on the back. Arcade. Okay, this, this boo here. Okay, that's arcade. And we're going to just see what she looks like. And we're just going to pat her into her. Okay. Okay, Ofra Cosmetics. I see you, sis. Okay, that was real buttery smooth. No lie. And I'm not just saying that because I stand for all things black. It really was buttery smooth, y'all. And I had to just go in just a little bit. Like I have literally, there's some fallout in the pan, but there's literally not even any fallout um, on my face at all. And this is like a shimmery type of shade. There's really not a good shade in here for me to like blend that out with. So I'm going to just take a very small blending brush. The Morphe M506. I'm, I'm going to just do a little bit of gold and see how that. And I'm going to just go in between with it. Because I don't really want it to blend to blue. I may have to go in and reinforce that blue because I am washing it out a bit. I don't know if you can see that there on camera. It's particularly in the front. Yeah, it is getting washed out a bit. I'm not putting any more on my brush. I'm just going to go pat right there because I still want that to show. I just want the blend. Okay, and we're just going to blend this blue out. So I like to put it on top just a little bit, which I know is the wrong way. And then go back in over the blue and shade them in there. Again, we're going to go back into that blue because we're losing her a little bit. I'm sorry, I can't keep track of these names. I wish they were on the front over. I really do. Now we're going to go into this purple color. I forgot the name of it, Mood Ring, just to deepen our crease. So you just crease. I'm going to just place it there, circle around, make sure I get the color that I want, and then bring it on in. Oh, yes. Now that, y'all, I am a purple fanatic. So that, to me, just made this so much better because I do live for a good purple. Do the same thing to the other side. So I'm going to use the P. Louise base. Come on, focus for me. Y'all should know what this looks like, though. If y'all here, that means y'all are into this. Okay, yeah, and I think this is um zero, rumor zero. In this brush, you want to get the flattish brush that you have, and I'm taking the Morphe M124, and I'm just going to get some on there. I'm going to go like this, pop it, look up. Why can't I look up? Oh, I did. I'm just, y'all, pray for me. Yeah, so the thing about depression, when when I was first diagnosed with depression, the, it was postpartum depression and it was with Lola. And I thought that, like, it would go away, which it did to an extent. It did go away after a while to an extent. But there's, like, no magic cure. cure, cure. Like, one day you're just healed. Ever since that situation, I often find it harder not as hard as it was then but much harder to deal with my emotions in a healthy way without letting them overwhelm me nothing and then i'll just do something for me that's key though when you are battling depression it is just a major key to me to just get out and do something for yourself especially if you have kids especially if you have a family and all family situations it is always the woman you know who 
you know, you do so much for other people. You sometimes just forget about yourself and taking care of yourself. So now I'll be doing stuff for me. I'll be like, hey, you got to get your kids. I need to do my makeup. Even if I'm not going away, I'm making a TikTok. I'm about to spend two hours doing my makeup to make a TikTok. And you're going to get your kids. And that's just to maintain um, my sanity. I, I was supposed to do that before I started my eyes. But I think, But now we ain't closer. So now can y'all see this shift? Place. I'm really actually not that into like these soft pastels type of colors that are in here but I knew I was gonna buy it just because I've been on this kick like I buy so much beauty project products and when all this happened I looked and I realized sis you tripping I did not have any of besides Fenty and like maybe something else here or there I was not supporting like beauty brands, so I had to get myself together. So now, when I go somewhere and I need something, the first thing I'm doing is, okay, where is a black brand that have what I need? Cause that's all I'm buying, and that's all I'm buying. Listen, and that's hard. I'm a Sierra Rogue, Sierra, Sephora Rogue, which I think is Rogue. I don't really know. Y'all let me know in the comments and. I go in there and I'm like, okay, Sephora, what y'all got that's black on? And so they try to tell me, they try to tell me. I'm like, okay, I need a Rhonda that's black on. Y'all don't have no minted in here? And I'm letting them know. Y'all don't have no minted? Y'all don't have none of the new bronzes they just released? You don't have nothing black on that can bronze me? And they didn't. So I left. I didn't buy nothing else. So if it's important to you, spend the black dollar where it counts like in real life it was that important like is, is that important to me during this time yo have y'all seen that tiktok where they're like it takes me hella long to do my eyeliner i spend so long doing it just so i can impress you and they do it in like 12 seconds well i am the person who takes hella long doing it in real life <music> This is what I mean, y'all. Those girls on the Insta, on the tickety talk. <laughs> Those girls on the tickety talk, they can do their eyeliner so quick. Literally, they did it in like 10 seconds. And I'm like, how, sis? How are y'all doing this? And I can't count the many times I have forgotten I walk around with. Today, it would be pink. P lower, pink lower lashes under my dang on straight okay now I see this one is not going on that seamless it don't want me to be great there we go and make sure you get it as close as you can to your actual lashes and boom she turned into a whole new person um, um, she turned into a whole new person um, um. eyelashes elevate your life okay Okay, so eyelashes are on. We are on and popping. She is a whole mood of vibe. She's looking good. Now we need to give some blush and some highlight. Some skin tone powder. She's lit. She's ready for the party. I'm going to use my, um, I think this is Black Radiance. Yeah, Black Radiance blush and Warm Berry. And we're just going to use a little bit of this. We're just going to do a little bit. Shout out to my old school icing brush that I have been having forever. <laughs> like forever, ever. Mm -hmm. Bring it together, sis. Come through, sis. Yes. Give it a nose. Come through. Mm -hmm. I told y'all this blush was going to change my life. Change my life. Promise that I give you life. Promise that I give you life. So we're going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Hustle Baby. Mm. 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 Okay. My son that was down there being so quiet, I forgot he was there for a second.
Now, I don't like too much of a blinding highlight. So, what I personally do, you don't have to do this. I'm going to spray a little under the K all over. Oh, my scarf is coming off. Y'all need to see my hair underneath this. I ain't put my wig on yet. And then I'm going to just go pat that in. I don't like when it just sits like on top. I need it to blend in, honey, to the rest of this luxuousness that I have created. I need it to all blend and be as amazing as God called it to be. I'm going to go in my Ciate Dewey Stick. Change your life. Pat, pat, pat. You know, I like a matte foundation, but I do like a, um, a dewy finish. So sometimes I use this. Sometimes like I use like a dewy setting spray. Whatever works. And then I'm going to just... Pat those places in. Oh, she fell off. Did y'all see this? Oh, oh, she fell off. Oh, well. Hey, son. Oh, you want that eyelash case? Okay, that's cool. Go ahead and grab it. You the boss. These are eye feathers. I fly away. The Alamar Cosmetics. I got this in a boxy charm. Oh, this is much more pink than I anticipated. I'm not mad at it. It goes. It's a mood. It's a vibe. Hand me my wig right there. Oh, hand me my wig off the bed right there. Can you show me this? I don't really think that. Can you just show me? Y'all see how she just threw her wig at me. So that is this. Wait, I gotta do my under eye. She's not finished. I hate that the only option I have really is to bring this blue that I am not really feeling down. But we're gonna do it because you gotta do what you gotta do. And I have to do my um I'm gonna make get some of that pink and just Smudge it on in there. I am not putting anything in my lower waterline because of the pandemic. You know, they said that it can stick to your eyes and with contacts, you're already just up in the wrist. And so I'm not doing it. Now they have this nice little gray. Oh, yes. Now that just changed my life too. Certain little tidbits here and there. Y'all see the difference? But really change your life. Now, I like that. Thank you, Ofer. Come through. So, I know this Maybelline the Fossies push-up drama is actually the only mascara I can use for my lower lash line. It's like the wand is like perfectly shaped. And sometimes I even stick the wand into different mascaras. Because I hate for it to smudge. And it's like they created this perfectly not to smudge. So... How do we like it? We're gonna give it another little spray. And yeah, I'm satisfied. I feel like this is a perfect little going to Sephora. I wouldn't say that it's an easy, simple look or my favorite color choices, but it really boosted my morale because a sis was down and out and crying. Oh, just thinking about it is getting me emotional, but thank y'all. If you watch this video, you help lift my spirits on today. If, yeah, I'm sorry, I don't want to cry and just get that smudge in my waterline. But depression is real, people. Do whatever you can to combat it. Don't let anyone steal your spirit or your joy. In Jesus' name, amen. See y'all next time.